At this point, I've gone through all the steps of setting up my script. I've downloaded, I unzipped it, I uploaded it, I created the database, I modified the configuration file and uploaded it. Now I'm going to go to the website and actually do the configuration that needs to take place. So up here, I've typed in the URL where I installed the script. Now you'll see that I installed it at demo.askaquestionlive.com. You'll very often install it on a domain, not on a subdomain. So type my domain in and let's go there. We'll see what it tells me. Okay, well this is good. At least there's something correct showing up here. It says that I need to do some, uh, some of the installation process. So let's go through what the installation process is. It needs to give me a, I need to give it a title. I'm just making up an email. And yes, I want my, to allow my blog to appear in search engines. Install WordPress. Now, very often, uh, the script may have more pages than this. WordPress is very simple, so it gave me a username and a password. Pretty important that you remember this password, so I'm going to right-click and copy it. We'll log in. i got to put in the username it just gave me, admin, and the password that it just gave me. I'll paste it there. Log in. Now, if you're installing WordPress, one of the first things you should do is go and change your password. However, at this point, we've already installed everything. So, if we just click on Visit Site now, there's our installation. Uh, we installed all of WordPress. There's our domain. We, we did everything correctly. Now, it's just modifying this, which you can learn to modify WordPress anywhere. So, almost all scripts are this way, where you download it, you unzip it, you upload it with FTP, you modify a configuration file, you set up a database, and then you'll go through some installation process online on your website where, where, it, uh, where it was installed. Very often you'll go to like an install directory, so it would have been demo.askaquestionlive.com slash install or something like that. Every script is different, so you have to learn for, look for specific instructions on how to do that. I hope this has been super helpful to you, and uh, now you should never have to worry about installing a script.